Continue. Let me ask you this, because I'm sensing in the spiritual. You know what the spiritual realm is, right? I'm sensing that you open your third eye. Really? Yeah. Have you opened your third eye? Well, I don't want it here and there. I'm very aware of the spiritual realm. You're in. I don't know how deep that you're in in the cult, but you need to turn to spiritual. Realm. It's real. But the only way to have that freedom is in Jesus Christ. Lord, forgive me. In the name of Jesus, and I send you to the face. Every demonic power, every occultic power, your time is up. I Thanks you from evil. What is it called? God is the Alpha Omega. I'm stepping like Kappa if they want to handle my Lower East Side, Manhattan, I want to let you know something. Yeah. Y'all know about, like, recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Can you, like, stop for just one second? It's kind of like... What do you have? You know about, like, Book of Revelation, right? Yeah. And New World Order and stuff like that. Right. And the value of the dollar and the mark of the beast and AI and shit like that. Yeah, like, I want to... Like, hold up. Before we continue, let me ask you this, because I'm sensing in the spiritual, you know what the spiritual realm is, right? I'm sensing that you open your third eye. Really? Yeah. Have you opened your third eye? Have you been in deep meditation? Um, I used to do that when I was 12. I mm. got one here and there. I'm very aware of the spiritual realm, the dimension and stuff like that. Right. Well, I'm telling you that a spirit, because I'm sensing you, because there's a force that led you here. And I'm telling you that the word of God says that every person is drawn by the holy spirit but god is telling you the darkness that you're in i don't know how deep that you're in in the cult but you need to turn away because the third eye is deep but if you keep astral projecting even me as authority i could cut off your silver cord because there's christians that don't know about the spiritual realm those are gummy bear christians but me if you try to astral project anywhere or any occult you know what astral projecting is right us, we've been given power and authority to cut the silver cord so you won't make it back to your body. So I'm telling you that whoever sent you, because because the third eye is demonic. I want to tell you that and, and record this real quick because th this needs to be exposed because a lot of people don't know about the third eye. But do you know that I opened my third eye and I met Satan? Satan possessed me and he captured me to do his will. But I'm telling you that if you're following Satan, whatever he's promising you, it's what what the devil does. He gives you everything that you desire with his right hand and he takes it back with his left hand. And he doesn't only take the, the, the left hand, everything that you have, but he takes your soul. And the word of God says, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world just to lose his soul? You know, I actually saw the new world order because I saw into the spiritual one. It's real. But the only way to have that freedom is in Jesus Christ. And you might know it, but... You have to turn away from the cult. Because the demonic retaliation that's going to happen, even that I'm giving you this, it's going to be heavy. But it's going to be for you to, to make the choice. It's crazy how you do that. I am I'm really into the cult, also into Jesus and Christianity and stuff like that. I teach LSD how to, um, like, a experience. Hold on, because people need to hear this. I took LSD and I was like calling out to God and my hands were out and I kept saying oh my god oh my god over and over again and then like a lot of visions were coming to me a lot of stuff that I knew was true but LSD confirmed it and I know that the devil can give you visions as well but I just like realized that like everything's about to like collapse very very soon right and that people need to save themselves and I really appreciate you um like talking about this yeah. Yeah. and I was going to say something about what I just said on the mic but I feel like I would probably get because the thing about the cult because I'm in the spiritual realm right but I'm doing it through Jesus Christ you could do these drugs like LSD weed even when, when I was smoking weed I was tapping into the spiritual realm I literally see spirits but the thing is you're getting led down deception the word of God says that Satan is the god of this world so the weed, the LSC, even though God made it, Satan perverted it and he uses it to open people up spiritually so that he can blind them. Because once you have spiritual deafness, he could use you as a vessel to do his wicked deeds. I don't know what you did, but I'm here to tell you that this is a divine encounter because I got a strong word of knowledge that you're you're literally in the hole. And there's a war, there's literally, I'm, I'm here to tell you there's a war for your soul because you're chosen. 
and God, he has a role for you. Like, you know it. You know, like, you didn't fit in when, when you were younger. And the reason why you didn't fit in is because God has a plan for you. He has a destiny that the devil perverted. He, he thought if he could force rejection, you know, I'm seeing a spirit of rejection. There's, there's been a strong rejection that wasn't coming from you. You thought maybe that you were rejected because you didn't fit in or the way you look, but you were rejected because God set you apart because he called you to not be in this world, but he called you to serve his kingdom. But the word of God says that you can't serve two masters for either your loved one and hate the other. You know, you have to choose who you serve. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Have you forsaken the occult? Well, we'll repeat this prayer. I renounce the occult. I renounce the occult in Jesus' name. Lord, forgive me. I repent of my sins. Lord, set me free and deliver me and fill me with your Holy Spirit. I repent of witchcraft. I renounce witchcraft. I renounce the third eye. I renounce astral projection. I renounce any divination or sorcery. And sorcery, yes, hallelujah. And say, Jesus, deliver me right now and set me free in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray.